Welcome to Agent of Screen, the first and only place to come to for movie reviews live at the cinema. We have just finished watching Jumanji, The Next Level, starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Aquafina, Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, etc, etc, etc. It is the sequel to Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, which is the sequel to the original Jumanji film. Let's get into it. What is your first impressions, Adam? First impressions is, you know, just like your pink coat that you're wearing today. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just not too sure about it. Okay. I'm just not too sure about it. You know, I think big, big, huge fan of the original Jumanji. 2017, Welcome to the Jungle came out. I was real skeptical, but I actually quite liked it. This one, it felt rushed. Rushed in what sense? I just feel like, how, I mean, like, what was the length of this movie? Do you know? Probably two hours. I think it seemed to go real quick. You know, I don't want to spoil it, but it seemed like they got to the end rather quickly. It seemed like they were losing lives left, right, and center. The whole thing just felt rushed. It felt like certain acts, certain scenes were just there for visuals and not really to make a good story. Okay. And for the record, um, I am sure about this pink jacket. And I think it's absolutely wonderful. But thanks for your opinion. You're entitled to that, even though it is a shit one. Um, okay, my first impressions, I'll get into what I liked and disliked later. My first impressions are very short. I don't think it was as good as the first one. Yeah, yeah that was my first impression. Yeah. So let's get into what we liked first. Yep, sure. I'm going to kick it off. Sure. Is that all right, mate? Yeah, mate you Thank do, you. You do you. I'm always yeah, doing me, baby. Goes first. We need to break all of these toxic masculinity barriers. Pink is a great color. Both men and hey, women yeah, listen, listen. Can, can wear them. Pink, pink is my favorite color. I know where you're going with that, but I will not bite on that bait. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I did like yep. is that in this film, it gave the same actors who were in the first film an opportunity to play different yeah, characters. Yeah, that, was that was something I different yeah. liked. A criticism of Kevin Hart is that he uh, plays the same guy in every goddamn film. However, oh, however, oh. in this film, he played, he had a chance to play someone different. We won't spoil who he plays, mm -hmm. but he plays a different character. And The Rock, a few other actors play different Wait. characters. I enjoyed that. Are you saying you actually liked Kevin Hart in this movie? Uh, he was, he was okay. He was decent. Wow. He was decent. So for me, what I like, actually I was going to, because I thought I was going to go first. You know, normally I get to go first, and but you want to take the limelight. So it's fine. You do you. So the Labour uh, lost the election, so oh, we, no, can't, we can't let white people have yet another win so listen as th as the only white member in agents of screen we do not claim boris johnson as a white person what is he then he is an alien clown douchebag buffoon tackling little kids like a rugby player like he, he's just I don't, listen he's a pedo i'm saying it <laughs> i actually really enjoyed Kevin Hart's performance and I know you're not a fan of Kevin Hart so watching the movie I was thinking oh, I know Miles is gonna hate me for this but I really liked his performance I thought he played it very very well okay. it was very different to the kind of character he usually plays usually he's very hyper fast-paced he was slow monotone I really enjoyed his performance mm -hmm. and I agree with you getting to play different characters really really good the rock as well but them two together huge highlight of the movie so do you like the rock I do like The Rock. I know a lot of people, you know, obviously he's come from wrestling, etc. Yeah, Some yeah, yeah, people yeah. are not quite a fan of him, so he plays yeah. the same character yeah. in the film. Nah, nah. How do you feel about him? No, nah, I like The Rock, and I think um, it's about time that people release him from that stigma of like, he's just a wrestler. He, he's an actor in his own right now. John Cena is a bloody wrestler who can't act, yeah? Baptista is a wrestler. He can play one character, but The Rock, he is an actor. He had a chance to play someone different. How do you think he done as well? Yeah, he was good. I, I, I enjoyed his performance as well. You know, like some of the mannerisms, the facial expressions, the way he was walking around, knowing which character he is, I could see that character within him. So how can you how can you not like The Rock? How can I don't you know. not like The Rock? Like, he was my favorite wrestler growing up. I don't yeah. know who uh, yours oh, was. Come on. Yeah, The Rock, uh, Rey Mysterio. This one. Oh. Yeah, so he was my favorite wrestler. So it's glad to, it's good for me to know that you're one of the millions of the Rock's fans. Oh. Anything else that you liked? I did like the comedy in parts. In parts, I'm gonna say in parts. Uh -huh. What was that face you just made? Oh, really? In parts. Some of it was funny, but some of it was a way. Let's focus on what you liked. Okay, yeah, good idea. Um, yeah, so yeah, like The Rock, like Kevin Hart, 
really like Karen Gillen. I'm not sure what else I like, to be honest with you. So one of the action set pieces, the one just before the final level, yeah. it was a good action sequence. But apart from that, I'm kind of going to be reaching. So let's not force it. Let's get into the things that we didn't like. You want to kick this one off? Yeah, sure. I don't like the four characters outside of the game. They they do not fit as a as a group, as a friendship, as oh we're a team forever. No, no, they, I, I do not buy into it at all. I do not like the fact that what they've done with Jumanji is take it inside a virtual world, as opposed to Jumanji coming out into the real world. It makes me feel like growing up watching Jumanji. Jumanji is a terrifying place. Everything's trying to kill you. To survive in there is crazy. Now you got these four people, they go and they beat the game twice. Twice. Two tries and they do it twice. Nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not into that. On the back of your point, I thought the actors that play the real life characters, I don't think they're good at acting at all. Nah. I was kind of cringing yeah. throughout the first scene. Like when he's shocked and he's dropping the spoon, it's like, it doesn't look like I was doing it. I'm, and I'm a shit actor. Nah, you're all right, man. Oh, thanks, you're man. better than that. Safe. You're better than that. I appreciate that. One thing I will say is that I think it wasn't aimed towards me. I think it was aimed more towards kids and I think that was reflected in the comedy because I thought it, it was quite immature at times. Yeah, definitely. It, the comedy, the jokes didn't really hit for me. I had no laugh out loud moments. It was more like a, a chuckle or a scoff. Just a <laughs> no, <laughs> nothing like that. I, did, I didn't find it funny at all. It was more cringy than anything else. One other thing, I'm not quite sure how to articulate it, but some scenes in the film I felt were just there solely for the purpose of forwarding the story. I don't yeah. know how to explain it without spoiling, but they were there just to take certain people away so you won't have to put them in certain scenes or there were unnecessary deaths mm, mm, mm. just to make speed, sure everyone is on the last the, life. Exactly, to speed up the process. It yeah, was all yeah, rushed yeah. out, so, I completely agree. A lot of films do that, but in this one, it was really glaring. Mm. And I felt certain choices that they made, I thought were really predictable. So it didn't shock me in any way. Speaking of, uh, one thing I want to add quickly that I did enjoy, uh, Jack Black, I, f I enjoyed him. When he turned into a certain character, I thought he was funny. And just like in the first film, he's one of the MVPs of that. In this film, exactly the same. That being said, let's get into our scores for Jumanji The Next Level. Adam, I'm gonna come to you first. What is your score, please? Definitely not as good as the first film. Definitely nowhere near as good as the original. I feel like they were a little bit lazy with it, rushed it a lot. I think the performances of The Rock, Kevin Hart, even Danny DeVito, yeah. They, they carried the movie funny in parts but some of it was way too cheesy and cheap visually looked good i enjoyed it for the most part but at times i was thinking a bit yeah they didn't need to do this with that said i'm going to give this film a six out of ten fair enough i could the same sentiments i enjoyed it. it it was very light i would say it was an easy watch would i advise you to go and pay your money to go and see this in the cinema according to me i would say no i thought it was overacted the jokes didn't bang for me at all it didn't hit at all jack plaque was funny character switches were funny and there's a potential for a further jumanji how do you feel about that after watching this film i don't feel like they needed to make it mm. this film they didn't yeah, yeah, did yeah, not yeah, need yeah. to make this film now they're teasing us for a third a different approach You'd be interested to see it. Uh, well, let me see the trailer. Let me see what they do. Okay, yeah. I'm it's interested. A, it's an interesting I'm trailer, interested. Yeah. So I would give Jumanji the next level also a 6 out of 10. I think that's a fair score. I think it's a fair score. I, th I think the more I think about it, it might go lower than that. It may go lower than that. Maybe. Maybe a 5.5. But I'm, I'm calm for now with a 6 out of 10. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. If you went into Jumanji, what you see, do you think you'll survive? I reckon I'll back myself to survive. Yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah. Because, you know, traditionally, as a black person, Die you're first. very cool. No. No. no, no this guy, no. see this guy? What this do you mean? Guy should fucking, just should punch him up, you know? Just Let me finish my sentence. Oh, aggressive. Traditionally, we're very skeptical of wild animals and the jungle in general. And so, water. Mm, that's good. Thank you for that. You see, he knows black people. I do know black people. Sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, so I would be, I wouldn't be like turning my back to snakes and, mm. you know, because yeah, I, have, I have a snake myself, so I know how to, um, <laughs> I know how to handle one, but, uh, was... <laughs> wow. But yeah, but what about you? Would you, would you survive? Oh, without doubt, I think I'll, I think I'll flourish in the world of Jumanji. Do you, how many lives would you have left? Three. Three? All three? Uh, all three. three. Nice. All three. Depends what your weakness is, doesn't it? That's a good point. Because if your weakness is like eating box, then you're definitely losing a lot. <laughs> I 
I wouldn't make it past the first level. True. I would good not honesty, make good honesty, good honesty. What can you do? <laughs> that being said, that has been our review for Jumanji, the next level. What did you think of it? Do you think we're being harsh at all? Make sure you let us know in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoy the video, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Would you survive in Jumanji, would they? You reckon they would? All 17? All 17. Not all 17. Definitely. No way. Not all 17. And until the next video, I've been your boy Miles. I've been your boy Adam. We've been the agents of Screen. And until the next video, peace.